Welcome to Your Daily Dose, a devotion ministry of the Faith Baptist Church of Franklin and Middletown, Ohio. Thanks for joining us each weekday as we share God's Word with you. It's your daily prescription for all that ails you. And now, Your Daily Dose. Text on the Daily Dose to be from Daniel 3, probably starting in about verse uh, 9 and reading through a good portion of that. They spake unto the king, Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Thou, king, has made a degree that every man that shall hear the sound of the corn, cornet, the flute, the harp, sack, sack belt, pastry, and all, all the disclaimer, clamor, and, and all kinds of music, shall fall down and worship the golden image. Whosoever falls not down to worship that, to worship that he should be cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. There are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the pro- over the fairs of providence of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have no regard. They, the, they, the God, the, the, they serve not the gods, nor worship golden images, which uh, thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was in rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego then, and they bought them before the king. Now when he was spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do not you serve gods, nor worship the golden image, which I have set up? Now if you be ready to do that, at which time you hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, sackbut, and palstry, and dulcimer, all, all kinds of music, you shall you shall fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if you if you worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is is this God that shall deliver you out of this of his hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, that it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. He shall deliver us out of thine hand, O King. But if not, be it known unto thee, O King, that we will not serve the gods, nor worship the image which thou hast set up. Then was Nebuchadnezzar, full of fury, and the form of his vesture was changed, against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spoke and spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was wont to be heated. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in the army to bind, Shak- to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men, then these men were bound in their coats, their hats, and their hats, and the other garments, and were cast in the midst of the fire, burning fire furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, and the furnace was exceedingly hot, the flames of the fire slew these men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and, and Abednego. These, and these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, f- fell down, bound in the midst of the fire furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar, then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished, and he rose up in haste and spake and said unto the, his counselors, Did we not cast the three men in the midst of the fire? Of the fire? They answered and said, o, said unto him, said unto the king, True, O king, he answered, and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have not hurt, no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fire furnace, and spake and said to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, You servants of the Most High God, come forth, come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth out of the midst of the fire, at the, at the prin- prince of governors and the captains and the king's counselors, being gathered together, saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no power nor was a hair of their head 
singed, neither were their coats shot, coats, coats changed, nor their smell of fire had passed on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who hath sent his angel and delivered, them, delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king, changed the king's word and yielded the bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Therefore I make a decree that every people, nation, and language who speak in anything amiss against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces and their houses shall be made a dunghill because there is no other god that can deliver after this sort. Then the king pronounced Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the providence of Babylon. You know, folks, we're reading this today. Think about this. They wouldn't bow. They wouldn't bend. They trusted God. They did what they were supposed to do. And God saved them right out of it. You know, he took them out of it. They never, never got burnt. They never got hurt. Not even the hair on the head was singed. Not even the smell of fires upon them. Can you imagine being thrown in a fiery furnace like that? That hot and that much power from fire. And never be burned. Well, you couldn't have but not been for Jesus. And when they said they seen three, he seen three, and there one was the Son of Man. See, God's got all kinds of power. He sent Jesus. Jesus came down there and delivered his three children out of the midst of the burning fiery furnace. You know, we think we go through a lot of things today, and we think, well, you know, life is bad. Life is awful. Well, life is what we make it, you know. I mean, I think life is great. The reason why I think that it's because, you know what, I'm a servant of God. It's like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego served. And I know that I'm going to be okay. I know that I'll be ready when he comes. I know I'll be going home to be with him. And I'm looking forward to that, you know. Whenever it is, however it is, I'm going to thank God that I'm a servant of God that I can go home to be with him. I praise him for that. It's great to be serving God. Uh, we. Let me tell you something. If you're having difficulty today, lost, you're feeling down, you're low, you need help, come to God. You need help, trust God. Call on Him. If you're lost, call on God. He can save you. I can't. Pastor Matt can't save you. Neither can anyone in the church. But God can. And God does it. It'll last forever. Folks, I got saved over 60-some years ago. 61 years ago. It's been good ever since. You know, and I've enjoyed living for God. Oh, I've had problems. I've had things happen to my life that wish that had happened. And not not bad things, but losing people and stuff. But that's nature. So I know. I know that God's in control. I lost my dear wife three years ago. And I'm it will be in July, I think. And I wish she was with me today, but it wasn't meant to be because she was not able to be here. But I know where she's at. I know where all, most people of my people have passed away. And people in the church, I know where they're at. They went home to be the Lord. We love to try to uh, bring you something from this. Hope that uh, it uh, will do you some good. And you can uh, use it to get glory out of it. But try to be like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Don't bend. Don't bow. Don't go away from what the teaching of God's about. The only one can help us is God. Like he did Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I'm thankful today to be blessed. Well, as much as I am, I'm blessed a lot and can do what I can for God. I like doing that. I love our church, love our pastor. And we are so thankful today to be able to read you these few verses out of the Bible. And let you know what happened to these guys. They threw them in a fiery furnace, no doubt. Well, it burnt the soldiers' arm up and threw them in there. But you know what? It didn't hurt them. They walked in there with Jesus. Isn't that great? Walking in the fire with Jesus. Now, nothing no better than that. Wasn't even nothing bothered on them. Wasn't even hurt or nothing. Because you know what? But then I like what the king said over here where he said, Therefore, I make a degree that every, it's verse 29, I make a degree that every people, nation, and language would speak anything against Shadrach, against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and the houses shall be made into a dung hill, because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. And there is no other God can deliver like that. Never have been, never will be. So 
I'm thankful for that. Well, we're bringing it to a close now. We'll see you the next time we do this. If you out there don't have a home church, come to church and be with us. Looking for church, come and check us out. And y'all think you'll like what you find. And we hope you will do that. And, we, that's, and if you're lost today, we're going to be able to help to you. Get a hold of our pastor. He'll give us give you a phone number or whatever. But we'll pray for you do anything we can. With that, we'll come to close. God bless you and have a good day. This has been your Daily Dose, a ministry of Faith Baptist Church. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today and click the bell next to the button to sign up for email notifications each time we live stream or release a new video. To learn more about faith, please visit our website, fitinatfaith.com, for more information about our church. Have a great day in the Lord.